Hello again. And today we have a pretty short one here. It's on women's rights. Um, and not quite there um, to where we get to the 19th Amendment yet. But of course, that is the ultimate goal. And that doesn't happen until 1919. As you see, we're starting here in 1896. So we're close, definitely getting closer. Um, but this one, the NACW, is the National Association of Colored Women, and it was founded to improve the living and the working conditions uh, for African Americans. Suffrage, here it is, the right to vote. Please do not confuse this. Uh, there was a, a uh, I forgot which late night show it was, but... Um, they asked if we should end women's suffrage, and people thought that it meant that they were suffering. Uh, and so many people said, oh, yes, it's terrible for women to suffer. It's suffrage, uh, and it means the right to vote. So uh, please keep that in mind. And, of course, again, this was achieved in the 19th Amendment. Now, women could vote in some states, but it was not a federally guaranteed right, not until the 19th Amendment gets passed. You probably have heard of Susan, Susan B. Anthony. Ah, Susan B. Anthony, excuse me. Uh, one of the leaders, there were others, but one of the leaders of the women's suffrage movement. Um, and she's you know, probably the most well-known of those people. Uh, we used to have a coin, a dollar coin, <clears throat> named after her or for her. And uh, I don't really know if we have that anymore. I think it's second to William now. Uh, and finally, we have the <clears throat> excuse me National American Women's Suffrage Association. And of course, again, we see early, founded in 1890, you know, uh, and of course, it was helped to win the right to vote, which eventually women did get. But again, not until the 19th century. Well, that's all for the short one. Thanks for watching.